And I would rather be asleep at on dreaming About something I'll never need And I would rather be asleep at on thinking About something I'll never see Oh, I say forget Talking, but I'm screaming about something I'll never need. What I need is what I want, and you can bet it all. Try hard as anything. What I say, forget. Is it 
Cause I'm only getting older when I'm with you And I'm only getting older by the day And I'm only getting older when I'm with you I assume the song is done. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was four I songs. would be embarrassed if at that point it were still going. So <laughs> that was four. Well, Mike might appreciate this. There is a song I've been playing off the new Withershins album, and uh, they headlined at Mike and Molly's the other night, and I was one of the only people who didn't fall for the trick ending because it's caught me on the radio <laughs> yeah. probably six times. <laughs> Where I think it's done and it has 53 seconds to go, and you know, I go to talk and it goes, <laughs> Which song so, was that? Uh, Mount Fuji in Blue. That, I like that song. A lot. So it was fun not being fooled. <laughs> Listen to this show, and you will not be the guy at the concert who claps too soon. <laughs> Anyway, uh, back to you guys for now. In case you're just joining us, or in case you want a reminder, or just because, you're listening to WEF Sessions on 90.1 FM Champagne, and our special guests tonight are called Single Player. And uh, even though I've met them, let's. Uh, would you mind doing a roll call for the radio listeners? Uh, my name is Sean Newman. I'm Camila Glowacki. I'm Darren Code. I'm Jake Mott. And I guess I should be mindful. I said for the radio listeners, also for TV viewers, because uh, that is also an option. And thanks again to our camera crew. So I, I'm never sure if I'm supposed to break the fourth wall like that, because technically we are a radio station, but we're grateful for exposure and support. So they'll see it eventually online, right? I believe so. so you don't have I to worry about breaking the fourth wall. That would have been nice. There were uh, one of the best shows, actually. Paul Kotheimer is supposed to come in next hour, mm -hmm. and he did a WEF sessions once on very short notice. It was one of the best ones we had, and uh, we found out at the end of the show that it hadn't recorded, <laughs> and we'd been off the air for a week for technical difficulties, so hardly anybody knew to tune in. Yeah. <laughs> so it was just like this private party we had that. Uh, <laughs> And it's it's the one that got away, but it was a really good time for the people who were here. So uh, something you have. Yes, yes, I still fondly and they did they broke out songs they hadn't played in years, and so uh, but let's hope that we have both a good audio and a good video uh, document of this show, so that we don't have to tell people about the other one that got away. <laughs> now speaking of shows at various venues because I was talking about the record release this weekend. You have a show coming up very soon, yes? Yeah, on Thursday. Thursday and night. Where is that? Uh, Fullinger Auditorium. Oh, all the way over on... I never know how to pronounce that. I... <laughs> Fullinger, some people say... My like understanding is it's Fullinger, but everybody says Fullinger. <laughs> the f I almost misspoke, because when I was a freshman, uh, well, they had... There have been various out-of-state student groups on mm -hmm. campus. Yeah. A few years ago, students told me that they were starting an out-of-state students group on campus. I'd already been vice president of one before that. Uh, but there was a girl from Austria. I remember she was from Austria. She was in a wheelchair. And I haven't seen her since my freshman year. But she told me the funniest thing she'd ever experienced in her life was that we, we said Altgeld Hall instead of Altgeld. And she just leaned back and laughed and laughed and laughed. She needs some stand-up comedy. I, I thought, that's interesting, but I don't know that I'd call it the most hilarious thing I've ever heard, but it just made her life. So, because uh, why would we not call it Altgelt? And you know, I, I just, it's always stuck with me, but because Altgelt and Follinger both tend to be pronounced one way by most people, yeah. or, you know, uh, Baccaro. The English building. People are like, it's Baccaro. And it's like, well, no, actually, that's not Venetian. But, you know, if they spend their money there, I imagine it doesn't make any difference what they call it. They're, they're happy to. And, and I don't know how I would screw up single player. Um, it hasn't been screwed up yet. 
single A player or something. I don't know if you put an accent. Um, well, anything else you want to talk about before we go on, or have I talked your ears off sufficiently? I'm good. <laughs> Thursday, I guess, at, I think the show's at 8 o'clock, right? And we will come back and stress that again, because when you have a show the same week as Web Sessions, we want everybody, if, if people don't go, we want it to be by conscious choice and not because they didn't <laughs> remember, didn't catch that it was happening. I like to tell, I like to tell people that they didn't remember. Listeners, uh, we advise you go get the show date tattooed on your arm, indelible ink, uh, so that you never forget this show you went to. Because it would be pretty embarrassing if you got the tattoo and then didn't go to the show and everybody <laughs> asked you how it was the rest of your life. Yeah, that's a good good way to force yourself into something. I, I don't know that I'd call it a good way. I might call it a uh, high... A good way to force someone else into something. There we go, yourself. yes. Yeah. If, if, if it's not your arm and not your skin tissue and... Anyway, um, so what is this next song we're go about um, to enjoy? Um, we're going to play a lot of stuff off a uh, tape called Could Care Less that was released on Rat King Records. They just released a bunch of cool singles themselves, too, so you should check that out. Sold out. They sold out of the oh, Easter the ones, Easter right? <laughs> but the sa uh, Saturday Looks Good to Me one was pretty tight. I got uh, all four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll Hashtag work. Year of the Rat. Yeah, Are Hashtag Year of the Rat. Right uh, up to <laughs>
I've been thinking of things to say to you If tomorrow I would end up dead It's really weird going from having people in the building clapping to them going home because they have to get up for work <laughs> and just dead silence. So, uh, I'll just start clapping. We'll clap for ourselves. That it, you know, I'll tell you off air. We used to have some tricks of the trade, You're but. Break the fourth wall again. Yeah, Don't exactly. Do it. Don't do it. And the camera moved. So, uh,. The camera is not where it was before. It's it's like it has a mind of its own, or or somebody behind it. Yeah, it's, it's like there's a cameraman. It's sentient. Yes. Uh, anyhow, uh, I don't think we discussed if people want to book you for their wedding or birthday party. How do they do that? Um, I guess. How how d how have people booked you for weddings in the past? For weddings specifically. Um, well, I guess you could find my email on our Facebook page, uh, which is just if you type in single player. It's probably impossible to find because if you try to Google single player, you just end up with video game forums. But um, my email is Sean P. Newman at gmail.com. That's S C A N P N E U M A N N at gmail.com. You know, I have to <laughs> so wonder nowadays right? <laughs> when uh, take a song like All Right Now by Free. Do you know that song? Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. It's lots of movie soundtracks. and... <laughs> If if you're forming a band now and you're looking to have a hit and you call yourselves free and your song is titled something like All Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or, or or better, one word, you know, something like Ride by James or something. Uh, la yeah. Laid by James, yeah. Um Yeah, because all the ride songs I can think of are are, you know, Dandy Warhols and the Vines and but <laughs> If you have a one-word band name and a one-word song title, and you expect anybody to be able to find you just to give you money, it's mm. uh, it, it, it's sort of baffling. Yeah, maybe that's why there's a lot of bands with uh, really long titles, like Someone Still Loves You, Boris Yeltsin, or The World Is a Beautiful Place, and I'd, I'm no longer afraid to die. You know, there, there were, in the 60s, you the did have... Uh, the Peanut Butter Conspiracy and uh, the West Coast Pop Art Experimental Band, Strawberry Alarm Clock. But what was weird to me was in the 2000s when people said, yeah, bands with the in their names. Like that was this new thing <laughs> yeah, yeah, and not yeah. just a sort of a return to form. Like the mid-2000s New York. Yeah. yeah, and the Strokes and the Vines and the Hives and were all getting lumped together, the Ravenettes, just mm -hmm. because they had the in yeah. the name. Like basically every band until... Boingo, boingo. <laughs> I, what I love is early records where they say the cream. The, oh, and then they switch it. Later. Yeah, the yeah, cream, yeah. the Pink Floyd sound. Oh. You know, you say that people think you're being ironic, but that's <laughs> actually what they were called at one point, or at least how it got printed. But yeah. this has nothing to do with you guys. So, again, I don't want to take away from your repertoire. We don't have much left. We only have a little bit. The single, the single player. player. We'll switch our name to the single player. Le single player. But there's four of us. L single player. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you do the thing where you're a single A player, then you could play around it, but yeah, don't, I, that's a bad <laughs> idea, don't do it. Unless you're on tour and, I don't know. So, uh, you want to play some more songs, talk some sure, more? we just have a little bit left. <laughs> we're like, a lot of room we're like to talk. A little, we're yeah, a little over halfway. Okay, okay, when you said a little, I wasn't sure what that meant. Oh, no, yeah, <laughs> probably like ten more minutes, right? Yeah, when I'm at a concert and people say we've got a couple more, I assume they mean like 13. But yeah. <laughs> on my show, when or it's not my show, but when I'm hosting and people tell me they have a couple more, I start to panic because it means I need to have stuff ready. And there was this band we saw. Uh, I can't remember what their name was mm -hmm. now. It's probably good that I don't remember what their name <laughs> is um, because I'm going to be mean. Yeah. But they kept uh, they kept saying we have two more songs uh. left, and then they kept having two more songs left, and we were just. 
okay, like we're sick of this. And we just <laughs> had to squeeze our way out of the basement eventually. There is so much to be said. Now, don't, don't get me wrong. If, if a band is doing its first full lineup show in 30 years and people <laughs> have flown in from Switzerland yeah. and do a third encore, great. Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> if you're the first of five bands on a bill... You're already mm -hmm. over your time. Exactly. And right. you say, we have two more. <laughs> Don't say we have two more six times. Yeah, yeah. That's, we like to try to play pretty short, I'd say. I mean, all the songs are pretty short, but we try to play the set pretty short just because we know from going to so many shows that after 20 minutes of seeing a band, no matter who, like, it could be your favorite band. And uh, that's a stretch, yeah. That's <laughs> but, a stretch. Like, your like, very it, it favorite very, band. It could be a very good band. That you enjoy seeing, but after 20 minutes, your mind kind of wanders and you just don't want to see it. And not you or don't want to see it anymore, but you're on to something else. You're more interested I in something else. I don't. Maybe I'm just a millennial. I don't, <laughs> I don't but if, if, if you... <laughs> there are people at bars who actually just go on drinking beer after beer. Yeah. And I well, imagine standing somewhere <laughs> drinking beer for hours, you might eventually need to go somewhere else. Yes, yeah, like the bathroom I, or the alley. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I would say... Uh, leave them wanting more, unless you're on web sessions where we want you playing to like 10:59, because uh, oh no. then we don't have programming otherwise. So <laughs> we could do everything twice. <laughs> we had a band do that. It was awesome. Oh, no. I don't know if anyone wants us to do that. I I know I wanted it that time, but uh, anyway, let me leave you. What is your next song um, or medley? Or it's I guess brand new. yeah, this is new. This is a new song. I guess that right now it's called Running Away From My Own. And I will remind um, people that you are listening to Web Sessions with special guest stars tonight, single player. Cool, thank you. <laughs> so how many songs are we about? Oh, like, all of them, I guess. No, 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 we no we're not. Save one. Save one for the end. Oh, boy. Save cool. Do you want to do the last yeah, one? Yeah, 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 that's a good idea. No, we'll just do up to up to cool. Up to, up to cool. cool. Good job, man. 
By the end of the hour, you will be your biggest fans. <laughs> We're trying to figure out ways to split it off. <laughs> you could all the, we play all the songs into each other usually, but we're trying something new. You could do it like the wave where she claps and then he claps and then... Oh, yeah. I don't do know. <laughs> <sighs> so, what have we not covered? We, we should remind people about your show because yeah. maybe people <laughs> are just tuning in. Yeah, maybe. If you're just tuning in... <laughs> Uh, Thursday at 8 o'clock with Sky Ferreira. Is that how you say her name? Ferreira. Guy Ferreri. Someone Sky made that. I think Darwin made that joke last night. I'm not going to steal it. Um, just I just did. I might I need the joke credit. explained. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it, It's like Altgeld Hall. You know, some people find it funny <laughs> and other people don't get why it's... <laughs> uh, yeah, but Sky Ferreira at 8 o'clock at Follinger, Follinger Auditorium. If you say both, you can't lose, right? I know. That's, I'm splitting the pot. <laughs> Failing, yeah. <laughs> that's just wrong. <laughs> I think. Feeling good. Feeling, Feeling good. good auditorium. Uh, yeah. I think, I don't know how much tickets are. Well, you oh, can't right. technically right. give that out on the air anyway. <laughs> oh, really? Oh. Yeah. If okay. it's free, you can say, and otherwise, unless it's a WEFT <laughs> fundraiser, our policy does not. Well, good thing I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because at the music committee meeting earlier tonight, uh, people were just marveling that a lot of DJs here don't know that, but that's <laughs> been the policy, I think, since 1981. So oh, wow. you did me a huge favor <laughs> and did not get me in trouble Good. by not <laughs> giving out the cost what on the air. What else can I do to not get you in trouble? Um, <laughs> Try not mm, to swear. That's a... That's a good start. Yeah. This is almost like a family feud question. <laughs> we asked 100 people, <laughs> name a way to not get the DJ in trouble. Um, yeah, I, and I wish I had more suggestions. I guess, I, uh, I guess maybe I'm easier going than I realized. <laughs> <laughs> Generally, as long as people don't commit, you know, if they don't wreak havoc, <laughs> we won't break anything. run wild, destroy everything. <laughs> so a print copy of the FCC code of conduct. Right. Fire, you know, <laughs> that's never good. Right. Calling the head <laughs> of the FCC <laughs> and uh, trash talking <laughs> him <laughs> while you're on the air, <laughs> committing <laughs> obscenity. That's probably, <laughs> you know, <laughs> a announcing everybody, announcing beforehand that's what you're going to do just so <laughs> all the so grandmas are tuned in. <laughs> Tune in for the most offensive, pointless, <laughs> gratuitous. Yeah, no. <laughs> Anyhow. <laughs> Now that you have everyone's attention undivided, <laughs> including Mike. Hi. Hi. <laughs> we only got the two left. Yeah, we only got a couple of songs. Is Do we have, a we have any other Sorry, shows? Well, tell you what, why don't you play all but one of them? Okay. And then we'll come back and talk one more time after all but cool. one of them. Wait, how many? Cool. Let's five. do that. We we'll play five. three. And no, we have okay. six. You can improvise songs, too. Whatever oh uh, helps you <laughs> keep the music going. Cool. We'll figure uh, something out. And once more, you are listening to Single Player on Web Sessions. Oh, I wish you want to let me in.
never accidentally dial my number on your telephone Do you ever sit and think of why and wonder if you're still alone? Sit for a while now and tell me Sit for a while just to let me know you aren't coming home Cause I'm not in love, I'm just tired of being Okay. Just two. And I can add another one, I think, after that one. So you have how many to go? Three, I think, but they're all real quick. Uh, <laughs> well, do you, I mean, can you do two of them and then? Sure. Okay. Uh, we should probably talk quickly just because we started talking. Uh, <laughs> let's see. You're listening to single player. They still have 20 minutes uh, to do whatever they want with that's legal. And uh, it's probably too soon to plug your show again. <laughs> yeah. Do you have recordings people can? Oh, uh, yeah. Single player dot bandcamp.com we have a uh, tape called could care less <laughs> and then another tape called are you there that one has 20 19 songs he knows better than i do he, so that, are you there has 19 songs could care less has eight songs and they're both released through rat king records in champagne so your stuff comes in cassette or cassette digital tapes were all yeah cassette tapes and digital were all sold out of cassette tapes at the moment but i believe we're doing a second pressing or i just pressured aaron at rat king records to make a second pressing <laughs> on it <so> that <laughs> live on air now i'm going to assume <laughs> you've met aaron oh yeah <laughs> i think i know him he's cool i his Go reputation, on. I would say his reputation <laughs> precedes him, but actually I, I met him here before Calabunga his K, reputation. Right? Yes. I was there for that, actually. I was just sitting yeah, down in the corner. <laughs> I think I remember. <laughs> <laughs> the weird kid sitting in the he corner. <laughs> that was me. I was tiny and unimportant. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't it's that long ago. It's you're you're important. It's probably like you're two years fella. ago, right? No more, yeah. I don't more? think. No, yeah, no more than two years, I don't think. Yeah. But it was a long time ago. It was before color. Before color, it was in the 60s. Yes, I, I remember it in black and white. I don't know. So, um, yeah, two more songs and... Yeah, there's uh, music online. You can download it for free. You don't have to pay me. I will go check that <laughs> while... Uh, 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 single player out. Bandcamp, right? Yeah, single okay. player .bandcamp. Uh, if these songs are long enough to let me test <laughs> that, <laughs> no, then I, I will know. do that. I don't know if you'll get on the internet in time. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm on. I just... Uh, <laughs> I actually, I, I... You have to type fast. Yes. Fortunately, <laughs> I'm a fast typist. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> All right. Hashtag you the rat. Uh, this song is called Cool. 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 Hashtag you the rat. Cool. Hashtag you the rat. <laughs>
just that If you're crying and just teasing I guess I'm just that You're listening to WEFT 90.1 FM Champagne. Uh, is it safe to assume that you're going to be done before 11 o'clock? Probably. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I appreciate you stretching it taffy-like as long as you could. And uh, why don't we spend, I don't know, 10 minutes talking about your show coming up on uh, <laughs> Thursday? Well, if you didn't know, it's on Thursday. <laughs> hey, with Sky Ferreira. At? At Follinger, Follinger Hall Auditorium. On? On Thursday. In? In Follinger, Follinger. And where is Follinger? Uh, on the, on the in Champagne Urbana. <laughs> of the campus of the University yes. of Illinois <laughs> yeah. at Urbana Champagne, 61801 something wow, something. Wow, you know the address of the university? I'm just stalling. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Are you looking up that? Well, I'm, I'm also <laughs> thinking that if people don't go to U of I, they might not have any idea That's where true. we're talking about. I you know, we have Parkland students, we yeah. have new people in town, we have, tr <laughs> I started to say we have transients, but I'm not sure we're trying to get, uh, <laughs> 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 yes, don't just go to the show to like hit people up for money, but uh, if you want to experience the show, that would be delightful. <laughs> and it's, is it all ages? It is all ages, I think. I don't think you can drink or anything that would be over 18 at Fulling. No substance abuse. Fullinger. Yeah, I don't think there's any substance abuse allowed, which is cool. Well, I guess, hmm. yeah. I, I think it's abuse is generally it. frowned upon. I, yeah. In fact, <laughs> recently I, 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 saw, <laughs> I saw where people were going on about, yeah. um, it was, I think, drug abuse, tobacco abuse, alcohol abuse, and caffeine abuse, and they were just sort of equating them. <laughs> and you know, I would argue if you're using the word abuse with stuff like, okay, maybe, maybe alcohol, you know, but <laughs> you know, you're not even arguing for the moderation approach. You're arguing, <laughs> I want to get, you know, ten jolt colas, <laughs> and I don't know, 
what what would be the most irresponsible like no even person who lived on the edge would seriously you know nitroglycerin or something <laughs> so it, it just kind of amused me because they were just sort of like yeah you know if you've ever tasted wine that's abuse and it's like well you know if you've ever done communion then that's abuse i guess <laughs> Uh, Ooh, Got him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it just as I said, I found it funny, but uh, uh, hopefully, uh, and, and I will remind people that the views and opinions expressed on WEF uh, do not necessarily represent the views of even the speakers. <laughs> That's very true. I do not want a bunch of angry letters about how I am hateful for speculating about caffeine <laughs> abuse or something. Have you ever gotten so. a letter? Uh, well, in, in the computer angry, age? I was going to say, angry people generally don't send me letters. They yeah. uh, they would have other... Form. They you. would get a tattoo permanently uh, advertising you. the show Thursday and excoriating me for, uh, you know, I don't know. <laughs> Usually I'm just happy if people were listening, so... I'm sure there's someone listening out there, right? You know, it's... it's someone. I never... There was a local band, and, and this comes up all the time, they thought people didn't like them, and the problem was people hadn't heard them. <laughs> Who is that? I'm you not going to say, say <laughs> but <laughs> they well, were not a bad they, thing. they were amazing, <laughs> yeah, but they yeah, didn't. It like it was a good thing. It was like they did like three shows, and they're like, everybody hates us. And it's like, <laughs> nobody knows you're in town. <laughs> and they mistook obscurity for like people being up in arms wanting yeah. to, and it's <laughs> like. Them. You know, I, the the thing is, it would have been better if people hadn't liked them, even though they were really good, just because then at least they would have been paying attention. Mm. But it's hard to pay attention to something if, you know, people rehearse at home and don't actually play out. I don't know how anybody's <laughs> supposed to figure out they're good. So, so yeah, market, believe in yourselves and market yourselves. And <laughs> then if people don't like you, at least you got through to them. Of course. And if they don't like you, then they're probably stupid. So... <laughs> Again, the views and opinions expressed are not necessarily my own. They probably are, but... All right, so one more song, uh, and yeah, then to, next the hour we're supposed to have the uh, the amazing Paul Kotheimer in to talk about his new record, and cool. uh, I was sort of hoping that... When is that released? Uh, Last month, I think. Last, oh, it's already released. Oh, yes, yes. He's oh, already boy, been on um, morning or daytime WEF to talk wow, about it, but cool. he has not made it uh, in the PM. Does he have any shows late. coming out? Uh, oh, I believe can, October 25th, maybe, but maybe. he's going to confirm <laughs> for me. He'll confirm. <laughs> and uh, okay, what I was thinking would be <laughs> a seamless <laughs> transition would be if you got done and he was here, but. Is that him? He, that is amazing. Wow. I actually knew he that was, was on magic. it. magic. So. <laughs> Everything going according to script. I'm going to make sure he's ready. And uh, cool. you guys have a great last song. Everybody, please stay tuned Thank for Paul you. Kotheimer. Yes. And a whole hour of a lot of local music and Illinois music I have not played before. Cool. Followed by two hours of 1929, 1930. So that thanks again, great. guys. Stick Thank around. Make it a party. Thank you. And uh, <laughs> hope, hope you like the CD. Yes, thank you for having us. Hashtag Year the Rat. Yeah, this is called Jelly. It's off of Are You There? <laughs> I could fit. 